This is going to be a room tour of room number 30, 162 at the Area Casino and Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, so as we walk into the room here, um, I apologize, I have to put my camera down for a second. Okay, just put that in there. Okay, good. Okay, so this is going to be a full depth in tour, and yes, I know the hard rock one didn't go bad, but I can assure you guys that this one is going to be a much better tour. Housekeeping was just here, and now they're on to the next room. So, first, let's go over some of the things. So, this is your fire map. Pretty much, this is a corridor where right in the middle, right here, it splits off and it goes left to right. This is the room right here, and this is the four set of the elevators. So, as you walk in, you're greeted with this fine door. This is your uh, latch, so that no one can get in at night. Um, right in here is your deadbolt. So, we'll demonstrate that in a minute. And that unlocks and unlocks the door. Now, this over here controls the lights, and this pretty much indicates when you need, if you need privacy, this is you don't have to have housekeeping come in, uh, service, and you can have master on and off. And then again, just some, some, some basic instructions. So over here, this is a more of a frame looking thing. Um, literally, housekeeping is just here. So obviously, some stuff is already there. Um, they have a couple of drawers in here. I'm not sure what's in these drawers. So, some couple of things. It looks like you have uh, shoe shining services, you know, so it's it's really, you know, all inclusive and stuff. Um, very nice candle thing. We don't, we have not used that. A lot of drawer space. Um, if you're definitely staying here on an extended stay, this definitely um, can benefit you, definitely. Um, again, you have some more stuff in here. Just some uh, clothes and stuff. I'm not going to get a full look. It looks like there's some clothes in there, so I'm not going to take a full look. Um, you have the right door right here, obviously nothing, so this is a thing that's, that looks like a couple of hangers. Again, if it's, this is a really good room for an extended stay, and it does really help out, especially when the conventions are here in Las Vegas. Okay, so the next part is the bathroom. Um, there's a lot of stuff around, so please pare it in the mess. Um, it's, the housekeeping I did guess did a decent job. So, right over here, look in the mirror, who do you see? Hello. We have not one, but two sinks, and please pair it in all the stuff. Uh, that's just because we've been here for a while. Very fancy looking sinks. I definitely expect it, so let's do a sink test. Very nice. And the other one as well. Very nice. So this is uh, the light fixtures, obviously. There's a little bit of noise going on. Oh, and that's how you turn on these. So you can really brighten up the bathroom if you, if I say more myself, but we're going to keep those off and keep these lights on. So you're probably wondering, why? Um, why for this door? You would think that, okay, is this the shower? Well, my, my friend, no guys, you're wrong. This is an actual private stall for the toilet. It's pretty cool, actually. So not only do you get privacy by that door, but you have the full room to yourself in the bathroom. I have never seen this at a hotel before. Never. Not even the one, not even the Hard Rock in Cancun had this. This is a 2 2 toilet, so for all you toilet fans, and I'm sure as heck there is some, this one's for you. There's the toilet. Obviously, you have the Airy logo. Uh, brand new toilet paper. Again, housekeeping was just in here, so I figured this is a perfect time to get a room tour. Uh, this is just some, some information about the phone for rates and information about the hotel and stuff. So now, let's get out of the bathroom and give you one last quick view at the toilet. There is the commode. It's a 2-2 commode. Um, it's an interesting one, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this door. Um, so under here you have towels. You got towels all along here, a weighing scale, and a garbage, which doesn't look that bad, actually. You have a mirror that comes out, which is very fancy when you want to like shave or something and you're trying to get something off your face. That's pretty nice. Um, handle could use some new oil. I think this turns on too. Does it not work? Huh, must be broken. 
Oh, well, it's not the worst thing in the world if it doesn't work. Okay, so this right here is probably the most interesting part about this bathroom. Now, you have a shower and a tub. I have never seen this before. This is like, this is the thing, this is the thing that blew my mind about the room. I'm just gonna move this over because I, I have my shoes on. So, pretty much in here, you have a shower of very, very modern fixtures. I mean, for, for a bathroom, well, it's expected for a casino hotel like this. Let's do a test on the bath. Very good water pressure. And let's do a test with the shower. Obviously, we're not gonna try and get too, too much. Again, it's, this is a Delta shower, and I think the bathtub is also Delta, but I'm not 100% sure. Please bear with me. So we're about to see the pressure. Ah, very strong shower pressure. Very strong. With that, give you one more view. Um, over here, you have your um, shampoo, conditioner, and your body wash. Very nice. And a lot of towels. They give you soap. They give you everything here. Now, the next thing I want us to take a look at is the um, door right here. Now, this door, you have to, um, I'm not sure how to do this. Um, so what's pretty cool about this door, and that, please, sorry again, I'm just moving my shoes around. So, now watch this. I'm not sure how to do this. I think you just push it. You have to push it real hard. Um, and then it should lock in. And that's pretty cool. And that locks in the door, obviously. And then you have this space right here, but the space is for the door. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, moving my shoes over here. Okay, so that is the door space. Very, 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 very nice. And then obviously if you want to open it, you push the handle. It's very, very heavy. Whew. Very heavy, very heavy door. Okay, so now we are on, this is a mirror obviously. And look at these beds. This is bed number one. Actually give you a better shot of it. Very nice beds. Very nice beds. Very nice lights. This is the second bed. Um, this is a shirt, which I'm surprised they folded. Good job, good job on housekeeping. Um, so this right here is bed number two, and this right here is bed number one. This is a uh, two, I think it's two queen beds, I believe. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, so, anyways, so what we have right here is a bed. One problem I wanted to point out is this. That does not look good, but you know what? For an eight-year-old hotel, I, I, I can't complain. Um, you have a nice mural. Sorry about the zoom. It's probably been like that now. Um, so right over here is the Samsung screen TV, and I know you guys like seeing Samsung TVs, so if I can find the remote, we might be able to turn it on. Just I just have a lot of stuff here, obviously. Now, guys, when you stay here, you see this? This is a mini bar. Now, the second, you have 60 seconds to put something back, otherwise it, you get charged. So, do not, if you're, if you're staying here, do not remove these. You will get charged. But if you put it back in 60 seconds, it, it won't be charged. Um, the fridge, on the other hand, do not remove anything. And I repeat, anything from the fridge. If you're staying here, do not, unless it's an absolute emergency, do not remove anything from this fridge. Because once you remove something, you get charged immediately right after. It sucks too, but unfortunately you have to learn the hard way, I guess. Okay, so moving on. Um, I do not know where the remote is. Um, oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, so this is the um, this is the T. This is the TV remote. So let's go ahead and give it a quick boot. So let's press the power. Where's the power button? I don't know where the power button I do not know where the power button is. Damn. Ah, watch TV. Um, how do you, I don't, I, oh. Is that how you turn it on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Help me. Just kidding. Um, why isn't this turning on? How the hell do you power this on? I'm, 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 guys, I'm actually, like, serious right now. 
How the hell do you turn this on? I guess I'll press buttons and figure out which one turns it on. I'm sorry guys. I apologize for this. Um, anyways, we'll demonstrate that another time. So, right here you have the area phone and there's the room number 30162. Obviously you can call for stuff. These are lamp switches. Very nice. It just... Ah, and it simply turns off. Um, let me, no, I don't want to turn that off. Okay. What the hell? Okay. So this this is um this is a tablet right here. Sorry if this tour is very long. Um, but this is a this is an Android tablet. It's nothing special. You have two USBs right in the um, area um, charging station. Obviously, we have phones charged and stuff. The remote, a couple of candies, a couple of watch chargers, or some workspace, drawer space, and even more. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow, a safe. Really? Wow, you can even lock stuff in here. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so right over here, I know we're going back. This is how you open and close these. So let's start off by closing these first. And now it becomes, it literally becomes night once you close it. Oh, did not see that one. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, I just have to move this for a second. I did not mean to do it like that. <laughs> Just, just, uh, just for the, just for the, um, just for the demonstration, I would like to. Okay. So now, so now in this room, it pretty much becomes nighttime. Now watch this. I'm proud to press these two buttons. Guess what's gonna happen? It's incredible. Okay, so now obviously we have a chair right here, another lamp, some water stuff, a little bit more decorations, a uh, desk lamp, another. This is this looks like another phone, guys. We just have a lot of snacks around, and then this over here we have a couple of outlets for both Macs, uh, a couple of video, HDMI, iPhone, network, VGA C. So you have plenty of ports here. Definitely a lot of options. And you have a table. There's stuff on it, um, and now we're at the view. The most important part of the room. Oh, before we do that, these beds. <clears throat> oh, bed's very comfortable. So the bed gets a pass. Now, again, the bed is the most important part of the room. If you do not have a comfortable bed when you're in Las Vegas, you're not going to be sleeping comfortable. But the area does a very good job with their linings and stuff, and they make it. They make sure it looks very nice. So very nice presentation area. And then, okay, so now let's go over the view. Um, as you can see right outside, you have the Shops at Crystals, which is owned by none other than the Simon Property Group. Uh, I don't think you can see it that much in the light. I can't see it. I think you guys, you guys might be able to see it. It gets very hot out here in Las Vegas. So right there is the Area Express. I actually took a ride on it. Um, it, it only goes between the Monte Carlo, the, the, Crystal, the Shops at Crystals, and the uh, Bellagio, believe it or not. And then right out there is uh, the New York, New York Hotel and Casino, the Monte Carlo Hotel and Casino. And then right over there is where we're staying tomorrow. We're actually Hilton Grand Vacations. That's where we're going tomorrow. Um, pretty much, guys, um, we have to move for various reasons, which I'm not going to explain um, because I do not want to. Um, but anyways, so it's still a very nice view. The property's very nice. Um, I actually more above on the 31 and above is like the uh, the sky suites but they're very expensive 
out here. And then obviously right out there is um, McCarran International Airport. So the airport's very close to the hotel, but what's nice is that you don't have to think about the airport while you're here, which is great. Um, they really try to block you out with all these extra buildings, which I think is pretty good. And then oh, right over there is the uh, the T-Mobile Center, which, again, I'm not going to. I'm not going to any events there. Um, I possibly might be going to one event, but I'm not sure where I'm going yet exactly. We have to make a decision sooner or later. Um, anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching this wonderful room tour. Um, the last thing that we're going to be looking at is the tablet. Believe it or not, this is an Android tablet. Let's take a quick look at it. This is something that only... A place like this would have. This is how we Vegas. So obviously just stuff, home, you can control the room from here, room service, takeout, gives you information about the restaurants and bars on the property, the spa and the salon, property amenities, uh, um, in-room experiences, guest services, salon and spa, restaurants and bars, takeout, room service, Con, uh, room controls and then the home page and then obviously the charging station is there sorry about making this uh, room tour very long but there's just a lot to see and a lot to go over as well especially since uh, housekeeping was just here um, anyways guys thank you again for watching this room tour uh, please stay tuned for the Hilton Grand Vacations room tour coming very shortly and as they say we'll give a nice close off to this video That's it.